Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the first video. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get a Cade, going to Python. So we were on still this section, complexity of comprehension, and we're on number 33, cool pairs. So we have to implement the missing code here. That's already put there. A pair of numbers is considered to be cool if their product is divisible by their sum. More formally, a pair, uh, so i, j is cool if, and only if, i times j uh, modulus i plus j equals zero. So the product uh, divided by the sum uh, is, is evenly divided. Given two lists, a and b, find cool pairs with the first number in the pair from a and the second one from B, return the number of different sums of elements in such pairs. Okay, so here's the example. So we've got this list A, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and list B, so you got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the output should be 2, and the reason is uh, there are four cool, there's, sorry, three cool pairs. So 4 and 12, 6 and 12, and 8 and 8. And the reason these are cool pairs is because 4 times 12 is 48, and 4 plus 12 is 16, and 48 divided by 16 uh, gives you an even, uh, not an even number, but an integer number. And if you take 6 times 12, that gives you 72. Uh, 72 divided by 18, uh, I think, is 4. Uh, so that's an integer number. And then 8 times 8 is 64. And then 64 divided by the sum of these two, 16, uh, is 4 as well. Uh, so these are all cool pairs. And then they want you to return uh, the, the length of unique sums. So the sum of this is 16, the sum of this is 18, and then the sum of this is 16 again. So we have two unique sums, 16 and 18, because 16 is repeated again. So they would want you to return two. Uh, so a little bit more complex than it probably needs to be, but let's go ahead and do that. So you'll see they've already, so these brackets, um, since in most cases you'll see they mean dictionary, but in this case it means uh, a set. Uh, you can see that because there's nothing, uh, there's no like x, x colon something to give you this kind of key value pair. So since it's just one number, uh, this is creating a set. So the thing about sets is you can't have any duplicate numbers. So when it adds this last 16 uh, to the 16 and 18, uh, this will be dropped. So you'll only have these two. So when you count it up here with the length function, uh, you're only going to get two. So that's why using sets is handy here. If you used a list, uh, when you counted it, it would be 3 because the 16 would be added and it would be duplicated to that other 16. So that's why you want to use sets. And then we do uh, for x and a. Uh, you can use any variable you want here. Some people prefer to use i and j. Uh, I prefer to use x and y. And then so it's going to go through each uh, number here in the list for a. And then it's going to do the same for B. So for it's going to go, you know, 8, 4, 9, 4, uh, et cetera, doing each combination of the two. And it's only going to put it in the list if this condition is true, and that is the product of X and Y uh, and the modulus of the sum of them is equal to 0. And then what it's going to give you is the sum of X and Y. So like 4 and 12, it's going to put 16 as the sum, 6 and 12, 18, et cetera. And then this just returns the length of that set, which is the number of elements in it. So if we go ahead and run that, you'll see that that is correct. All right, I hope you guys are able to follow along with that, and I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.